Big Run Production. What's poppin' y'all? This is Big Homie MC Run Ski, the OG, aka Big Run 357. Um, as usual, got a special guest in the house. The man is doing a whole lot of things. He's growing up. Um, I'm proud of this dude. You know, that's one of the reasons why I definitely had to have him come on the show because he's doing what a lot of people not doing. So, what I need for him to do, you know what I'm saying, is let y'all know exactly who he is, what's going on with him, and then we're going to chop it up. Okay, first of all, that was like the best intro ever. <laughs> I obviously can't follow that up. But I'm Loki Love. You know, I make make music and stuff like that. He's a bit timid. I'm not understanding this. I mean, I mean, I, I should have got a list. There it is. 1317. No chill. You will know. No chill, no filter TV. That's what's happening. Okay, <laughs> we don't know. We don't have to open him up a little bit. You know what I'm talking about. That's what we do down here. Break ice. We break ice. Okay, man. So, um, just real quick, man. Like right now, you you actually on your way out of town, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's let's chop it up for a minute, man. What you what you going to do? Is it business? Of course. Yeah, man. Uh, going to do a couple of shows with the homie Quinn Miller. Shout out to Quinn Miller and Coach Cam. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So, I mean, familiarize us with Quentin Miller. Um, he's a rapper from Atlanta, and okay. he kind of got into, I don't know, he got into a situation that was kind of kind of fucked him up, man. Like, he was, uh, he was writing some shit from Drake, allegedly. And, uh. and when Drake and Meek Mill start beefing, his name got thrown out there, and kind of blew him up and shit. So. Oh, okay, okay. So you you going to you going to rub elbows, man, with those that do it big. Oh uh, yeah, man. This whole little uh, this whole first half of this year has been awesome, bro. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're gonna talk about that, man, because I know you're living the dream right now, right? Now you I, said something you said something about Empire. Empire oh yeah, that shit was lit. What happened? I just stopped doing the acting stuff for the music. Oh, okay, okay. I mean was you was you actually on the show, or was you affiliated with the show? Yeah, I mean, no, I'm for sure on there. Oh, he was on um, Empire? Yeah, I went there like like five times. He was on Empire, y'all. <laughs> he on no chill, no filter TV right now. <laughs> Loki love, but yeah, I know um, you got the, you do have a, also a, a deal. Uh, what's the distribution? Yes, yeah, I got a single deal with Sony Records. Okay, and how's that going? It's lit. I get seventy five percent of Ooh. all profits. And shh, shh, shh. <laughs> yeah, man. You know you ain't got you ain't got twenty four hour security, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gonna we gonna chill out on that one. But you know what though, what I do I do want to know this though, like um, you can let everybody know where your music is, where they can find it. All right, man. Look, if you're looking for like the newest music that I, I put out, it's most likely gonna be on SoundCloud. If you search Loki Love on anywhere really, if you search Loki Love anywhere, you will find me. L O K I L O K I L O V E. The heart. Loki Love. Loki with the heart. Like Buddy Love, but Loki. Yeah. Like Thor's brother. With <laughs> L O V E. Okay. <laughs> so um, yeah, man, and it was it was another show that you was talking about. Um, what was the name of the show? The uh, A P B Chicago A P B or A P B Chicago. I forgot what it was called. Okay. But it was like a uh, a cop show. And then I think I'm trying to think what the plot was of the show. It was like uh, I think some little girl died. I don't know for sure. I don't remember for sure. But oh, okay. I, somebody died though. I know somebody died <laughs> and it, it made this dude become a cop and then to investigate to investigate that and then that starts the whole show and he's trying to find out who killed him. That's okay. John Jane Doe or John Doe. And you said that you did have a part in that movie. I'm I'm sorry, that show. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. What, what, what was it about, man? You just saying it. I mean, no. Nah, let's see, like, I mean, all right, the, what, what, where were you? I mean, was you a killer? Was you? Oh uh, no! All right, said, so look. Uh, it was one. It was one time I went up there, and it was like uh, they had like some gangsters or some thugs on right. the street, and then they were just like we had to do mug shots and shit like that. And then, <laughs> okay. and then we did like a a college scene where like college students. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Happened? I forgot. But it was like. We did. We did like three scenes. I did like three scenes with them. Okay. Is, and is the is the show out or or is it? It should definitely be out now. It, okay. it supposedly dropped or premiered in January. What network? C B N. 
NBC? NBC. NBC? NBC. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Well, we'll definitely be looking for that, man. Oh, no, I'm lying. Fox. I'm sorry, Fox. Oh, it was on Fox? It's on Fox. It's gonna be on Fox. If it's not already on Fox, it's gonna be on Fox. And what's the name of it? APB. Chicago APB. Chicago APB. Okay. 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 Oh, okay, okay, cool. So, um, I know you're doing all this type of stuff right here, man, but I heard that you had a, a slight career in battle rap. Yeah, man. Uh, Did it work out too well for you? Uh, it was the latest shit ever. <laughs> like, With how many battles? It was one. It was okay. only one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and one, of course, you know what I'm saying? But that's the best record to have. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to know what? I know what it feel like to loop. That's what's so, up. That's what's up. Yes, sir. But no, yeah, I just, I pretty much went in there thinking it was sweet. And it was only, I, I only lost because I fucked up, so like. Oh, okay. And I see you at a, lot, a lot, at a lot of the battles, if not all of them. Every one that I go to, I think I see you pull up. Um, how do you like it? I mean, honestly, just. I fucks with the battle scene. That's just lit, man. Oh, okay, I okay. Like, and then in Milwaukee, too, it's getting big right now. And then, shout out to everybody that's doing things this summer. Dang, shout yeah. out to Body Gang. Shout out to Pin Gang. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Perfect Mess Productions, No Chill, No Filter TV, Say Mercy, the Define Rain. Art of War 414. Of course, me, most definitely, most definitely. So, um, yeah, man, that's cool. So, what direction are you headed right now? I know you headed on your way to the top, but like, what's your next step right now? I mean, really though. Uh, okay, so I'm in this phase to where like. I'm catering more to the ignorant side because you know everybody thinks about shit. But, but nobody talks about it. <laughs> okay. So I'm, so I'm in in the music, and as a person actually, I'm gonna cater to the mo the most ignorant shit for X amount of time, and just to get all this that energy out. And then the, all the while, I have this EP that everybody's forgetting about. And then like it's crazy because like when I first started making music, and everybody only know me for making like really conscious music. And then like lately, I've been making like more turn up. Like that type of music, so like it's gonna play out so lit to where I'm still gonna have those people from the beginning, and then like I'm doing this type of music, so I'm gonna reach a different crowd and I'm gonna have all those people. And then after, and because I have like 80 songs, bro, so I'm just trying to release all those songs. And then after I release those songs, I'm gonna release my EP, and then that's the fire, fire music songs. Yeah. And you say you're trying to release all those before you do what now? Before I drop my EP. It's crazy though because I make do music every sleep. day. I make like a, I make like at least a song a day, for sure. Oh, okay, okay. So, cool, cool. Kind of like, well then you got content then. You ain't got to worry about it. If you get signed to anybody, you you ain't worried about it. No, I got stupid content. That's what I'm talking artists, about, man. And see, sure. and see that that's kinda of like how I am, man. I'm I'm definitely ready for something. If anything is to crack, look, all I got to do is just start Throwing them like frisbee, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, in real life, man. So, yeah, man. With that being said, man, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely appreciating everything that you're doing. So, like right now, you more rapping or singing? Cause I mean, your look got you. You can go either way. You know what I'm saying? I, I rap. I'm a. I rap and I can be melodic sometimes. But oh, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm not a rapper. I'm an artist. I'm okay. a hip hop artist. I make hip hop music. And I make rap music sometimes. I like that. I like that. that. That's a good way to define it. So you ain't confused about what's going on with you right now. Nah, nah, I know. Okay. Man. So, so, so be, so be careful. Be careful, man. When you go down to Atlanta, man. You know what I'm saying. Make sure you keep yourself safe and, you know, don't take no wooden nickels as the as the old folks say. Uh, nah, yeah. Are we going to Texas? We gonna be up in Houston tomorrow, and then Dallas the next day, and then we gonna go to LA and turn up for Fourth of July. Oh yeah, man, you living the dream. That's what's up, man. So yeah, when you get back here, man, you know you're gonna have to, you know, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need all the details. Right. I mean, you ain't gotta tell me everything. <laughs> you know, you ain't gotta tell me everything. I know what happens wherever you go is cross state lines, so that's, that's where it can really, stay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Some stuff is <laughs> not legal everywhere. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, so in, in any event, you know. So with, with with what you're doing right now, man, what do you think about what's going on with the music business in itself? And we ain't gonna talk about the actual business. I mean, just the rappers that's coming out right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, no like, chill, no filter, man. You ain't got to right, hold back, man. What's up? So look, it's it's straight, I guess. I mean, look. All right, so look. I like the only thing I like about the new artists coming out now is that it it sounds good. Like they're it, the music sounds good. It's not they're not necessarily saying anything amazing, but it sounds like no, not even quality because like 
like, all right, for instance, think about XXX, bro. Like, they have, they make more distorted type music, distortion. Yeah, type. yeah, but it's the, <sighs> the adrenaline. Yeah, and it's just like, the, like I guess the, it's it's the combination between the feel of the music because people want to like, li people want to feel good, so they gonna listen to feel good music. Or whatever yeah. they're doing, people are nine times out of ten living in the moment. So yeah. whatever they're doing at that moment, they want to listen to music. That's if you had a party, you want to be able yeah. to turn up. You know, yeah, listen, you're not gonna have to throw yeah. a party and then so put on some fucking right. like. I mean, you might put on some you comedy actors. Right. I can't even say that, but like, you, you're not gonna put on. Somebody who do poetry at a party, though, if you want to turn up. So, like, right now, though, it's a lot of young kids, and the younger artists are the ones that's getting on. So, they have 15-year-olds and 13-year-olds. So, they're smart. They're smart as far as business-wise, but the music is... It's, like, as a whole, the music is trash. It's just, yeah, it just sounds good. It sounds I was really just going to say, because you, you, you went all around Milwaukee and landed in the same place. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yes, it's, it's definitely, I, well, you know, I can't, it, it's all a matter of opinion, if you ask me. And me being who I am, man, which is MC Ryan Steve, the OG, <laughs> um, I, I, I hear a lot of garbage, man. I'm talking about stuff that I'm just... Physically not comfortable with this. He said physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right up. I mean, I just can't listen to it. Like when I'm listening to it, it's like, you know, like when I when I was editing some of these battles, like, oh my God, dude, like, do I have to? All right, this is what I'll do, man. I'm gonna do this as quick as possible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As quick as quickly and as painless as possible, man. I got a question for you, since it's no chill, no filter. What's up? Hey, uh, you ever you ever have to make somebody? Look good in a battle. To, like maybe they stumbled a bunch of times, out. and you have to like edit it out cold or some shit like that. You know, you have to say no damn. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. You know, there was a couple of slip ups here and there that I had to to brush up on, but it wasn't nothing extensive. It wasn't like, and trust me, if somebody doing all that, I mean, I recorded a battle where a guy pretty much choked for like a whole minute, and I was still sitting there with the camera like. Zzz. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't, everybody saw that. So, I mean, yeah, what about Because people go look at it like, hey, what happened? Uh, you know what I'm saying? The battle outside when that little kid was in the battle. The little kid was in the battle. We were outside in the parking lot, and it was like a three way battle. It was that tall, it was that tall white, I forgot his name, but it was G Face guy. And it was a little kid, like, he rapped last. And then he was talking. Oh my <laughs> God! But he said, he said, I got the beef, or I got the meat if you want the beef. Or it was <laughs> Was that the little dude that that did all this? Yeah. And then said something like. I don't know what I was saying or something like that. Look, yeah, little, yeah, yeah. man, that was, <laughs> whoo, yeah, that, that was one of those. He tried it and it failed. You okay, I'm gonna throw a shout out there. I'm gonna throw a shout out there. What you think about No Minds, man? No Minds? Yeah. I haven't really seen a lot of battles from No Minds. I don't think I've seen any battles from No Minds. Actually. No Minds. What? What? what, what no, he's, he's, he got potential. And he raps like Daylight. Though. You know what Daylight is? Oh yeah, Daylight. That's my Daylight's dude. Daylight's fire. But he rap. But he tried to rap. Like, or he tries to like his mannerisms and like how he kind of like delivers it. It's like it's kind of cool, but it's like it's only cool because I like daylight. But, like, I was just gonna say daylight is kind of outrageous. I wouldn't book him because he's just a little too weird for me. I mean, I like him as I, I'm a fan, you know what I mean. But if I had a show, if I had an actual, if I had an event, I wouldn't do that because he got too much stuff with him. You know what I mean? It's, it's funny actually when I was in LA. Yeah. Uh, we, did, we did a show at, um, the fuck, I forgot the venue, but we were upstairs, and I had heard, so I had heard them announce him coming on stage, and I was talking to him, I was like, bro, I don't want, you know what this, bro? And he was like, yeah. Like, pretty much, I don't know, they have some <laughs> going on, but he didn't really want to see him. Yeah, and, yeah, and then it was funny because, like, <laughs> as soon as they, like, got on stage, he was like, hey, y'all y'all heard to see Quentin Miller? And they were like, hi. And he's like, yeah, man, hopefully I can get a picture with him or something like that. And then Quentin was like, bro, I tell you. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> see, I mean, you know, like in situations like that, I mean, I'm on the outside looking in on that one. But yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I mean, he dude is, you know, but you know what? That I, way, I recorded his performance. That nigga's fire, bro. Like, yeah, he, yeah, like his most music. Definitely. Oh man, 
his music's fire, bro. And yeah. not a lot of battle rappers can make good music. Yeah, that's for sure, man. For, for some sure. reason, they can't keep up with the beat. Because they think the bars. <laughs> they be thinking too much yeah. about the bars. And not exactly, not exactly. I mean, honestly, if you put them both together, though, you have a you have a lit song, though. Yeah, definitely. Hell you yeah. know, if you put them both together, because you and got that a would real be the, That would rapper. be the ideal outcome you'd want as an artist to, like, be able to be, be witty with your words. And, right. But still sound good, to not sound corny. Right, but, the, like, right. but see, look, to go back to the question you asked, what I think about the music now, that's what I'm saying. It's not so much of the bars, but they shit sound fire. Like, designer, he don't have no bars, but his Eesh. music sounds fire. Like, I would, I definitely would nod my head to some designer. <laughs> but it's the mumble rap, though. That, that's yeah, what that is. It's the era of the mumble rap. Yeah. And me, myself, I, I'll never get with it. And you want to know why? And you want to know why I think rap. the bubble rap is is on? I think niggas like bubble rap because you don't have to necessarily know the lyrics to the song. You can just be like, <laughs> well, no, because yeah, and, 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 <laughs> yeah, and of course, really and rap. of course, and of course, everybody high. You know what I'm saying? Going off perks and pills and lean and can't nobody keep no, up with no can't nobody keep up with no twister rap, man. And they going off that stuff, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean, yeah. me myself, man, when I listen to it. I, I really, it, it's kind of like a dumbed down. It like is. you gotta sit there like, oh, okay. Now you gotta, duh, and some of them, you gotta even go to drooling a little bit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep it in 100 because okay, it's so just what, that stupid. What, what, all right, one person I can say that I don't like for sure is like, but he makes some kind of, it's not cool, it's cool in like a corny kid way, but like, out Lil Yachty, that stupid dumbed down right there, bro. And you know what? He already been uh, labeled the poster, poster, poster kid for whack rappers. That's just too much. Right? Hey, As a matter of fact, he don't even. He don't even. He said. He said. He said. He said my bitch don't blow like a cello. Oh my god. He said, he said his bitch blows like a cello. Look, check this out. Uh, a cello. Look, chop that. <laughs> don't know because he. Whether, whether we know it's whack as hell, but we giving them free promotions on that dumb shit. Let's stop. Okay, we okay, we, <laughs> we we done with that. We we, we off the little yachty because I almost said something about the cold like Minnesota. Because honestly, just keeping it one hundred. When I very first saw it, I saw LeBron James saying, you know, about the Sprite, and he was like, I'm not even going. I never even heard of little yachty at this point. And he was saying, I'm not going to even tell Lil Yachty to sing the hook to this commercial. And he was like, who like a Sprite soda? Yeah. And I'm, I'm just sitting there, so just, Bro, when I it was probably two seconds left <coughs> on that commercial and I wanted to turn. <laughs> Straight up. And I'm, I'm looking like that was that could not be a song. And then all of a sudden I went on really YouTube and I saw the hair. So I'm like, what is this? Yeah, and I really click on it and it was dude on the Zamboni. Bro. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? This is an actual song and they put it out. Bro, when I first heard that, I'm like, bro, are they fucking serious? Sprite, y'all really gave this nigga for that? For Cold Lake Minnesota, y'all gave him an endorsement. Listen, you know what? Check this out. This here, this here goes to show y'all. As a matter of fact, y'all can actually follow that man's example when they say being cold or we, we made it because we dope. No, nope. no. Nope. You make it because you go through an you go through an avenue. You go through a certain door. You mess with people. They got all these doors. You got a lot of doors, and you got a million people at these doors. If somebody lets you through that door, behind that door, there may there may be four hundred thousand views a day behind that door. That's true. That's fact. Or you can go through this door right here, and there could be seventeen thousand views a day. But it's it's all about what they want, where they want to place you, and where you place yourself. You gotta have money. Understand that. That's hey, true. that's a message. If you ain't got no money, mm -hmm. you just think that. Look, I hear it all the time. Oh man, my my mixtape drop. It's gonna blow up the whole summer. Says who? <laughs> you? <laughs> I mean, where did you get this information from? Right. Right. I mean, how much money are you putting behind this? No, you finna get out there and say, hey man, my name is, you know, bum fuck the duck. You know what I'm saying? And I just I just wanna know if you can. Put, I'm not even gonna play that. Out. Can you hear me out? Ain't no way. <laughs> You know, they, and then you know what? Do this. Say, man, you got, you got, you got one minute to sell me on your CD, and in thirty seconds you'll be walking away. They don't even, they, they're not even salesmen. Everybody just want to be up here. Everybody want to be this, the status. But they, but they don't know, they don't, they don't want to do the work though. You know what I mean? I mean you want to know what's cool for me though, like, cause I don't really care about money at all. I mean, I, I'm not. Okay, let me let me say that again. I love. Hey, right, yeah, right, I don't, right, I don't right, do right, the yeah. music. For the money, I don't care to make money off music. It's awesome though because it shows me that I'm doing something right. But definitely, I don't care about the money. I like experience. Yeah. So that actually could, works. Like if I could just, bro, and then like, look, 
I figured this is what artists really do, and then they just always get off a track. Like, this would seem like it'd be the ideal thing. So, you could form a little bit to whatever is the trend is at the moment, right? As an artist. And then, you might get popping. And, like, it, all right, my whole thing is it doesn't matter how you do it. You don't have to conform or whatever. But you get yeah, popping, so you get the crowd. And you're supposed to get the crowd and then say what you're supposed to do. Say what you like, because nobody's going to want to listen to that to, from the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to, like, nobody wants to feel, like, down or, like, always lectured all the time with the music. They, right. they listen to music because they want to, you know what I'm saying? What a part. Yeah. yeah. Or not, they just want to vibe out from, like, life. They just want to zone out from, like, life, life. So, like, uh, <laughs> I uh, definitely like, feel you. So yeah. It's, uh huh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you know what? Check this out. He 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 tried to make a point, but you know it kind of flies away when the, when you when you're puffing the smoke. Yeah, I forgot. Sure. Okay, so you know, what? <laughs> no no big deal. It's all good, man. We gonna get back on track, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna close it out with you as an artist. What is your status at this point? Um, I'm everybody's friend. I'm in everybody's circle. Um, it's weird though. It's cool, but it's. When can we expect to hear Loki Love music all over the place? Hey man, look, I promise you. <laughs> next year and a half to two years tops. Everybody definitely. I will have a, I will have a decent, a really really decent problem. Because right now I have, I'm meeting everybody. So right. I'm making mutual friends. I'm rubbing elbows with the right people. So I could just wait until. Like, whenever I want to, really. Okay. Whenever okay. Well, no, you can't wait till whenever you want to because we looking for you. Don't 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 let the fire, don't let the fire burn out. No, I mean like <laughs> I mean like within within like the next like couple mm -hmm. years. Like, but I want to I want to wait until it's the most natural to where I don't. It's not. It's less of like a favor and more of just like a, all right, man. I see what you're doing because. Like I'm telling you, I be yeah. the people I be hating around. Yeah. It's like the right I could just say like I could be, but that seems so cliche to just be like, hey bro, you want to listen to my music, bro? Like, like no, nigga, I don't mm. want to see your music. So like I'm waiting until it becomes more natural, and then I'm meeting all the people who does everybody's beats right, and everybody knows videos. You. Like I, I'm telling you. So like oh. next two years, everything should be straight, bro. I, I will definitely be alright. Cool. But we're gonna be looking for Loki Love within the next two years. Everybody just gotta survive to the end. Yes, sir. And you know, we, we, we'll be okay. I will definitely keep y'all updated with the ignorance stuff. Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> that'll work, that'll work. Loki Love, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, look, tell them, tell them what it is that you're doing again, man, and, and we gonna wrap it up. All right, Let look, them know where to find your music. You can find my music on SoundCloud, Audio Mac, iTunes, fucking Microsoft Music, Google Play. Everywhere. Just type in Loki Love, L O K I L O V E. You know what okay. I'm saying? Shout out to Supreme. Shout out to Tropical Fantasy. Shout out to No Chill, No Filter. Man. That's what's up. Okay, so in closing, it's been your big homie MC Ron Ski, V O G, aka Big Ron 357. And until next time, like I said, don't really care about your feelings, man. So stay upset. <laughs>